Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the Lego Technic Ultralight Helicopter, set number 42057. Only 199 pieces, so it's a fairly small set. Um, it's so small that it has one of these little thumbnail uh, or finger pieces right here. So we're going to dump the contents out. Let's see what we have in here. Looks like we have a medium sized sticker sheet. It's pretty uh, standard sticker, sh I guess. Uh, you know, Lego Technic comes with sticker sheets and it's not enormous, not small. It's kind of a standard sticker sheet. We have two instruction books. We have the uh, main model you see on the front, but there is an alternate model you can build. You, you have to choose one or the other. You can't <coughs> build them both at the same time. So um, basically choose which one. We're gonna build the one on the front of the box. So here's our parts. We basically have three bags of parts. They're unnumbered bags, but they are sorted kind of by size. So we will uh, dump all of these large parts out first. And then the smallest bag has all of your pins and various small connectors all right there okay so we have all that dumped out let's open up our instruction book and see what we got here so we're gonna start with a lift arm and 11 long lift arm along with a few friction pins in there So unlike larger Technic sets, these smaller ones, um, I typically don't sort the parts out very much. You can kind of spread them out, kind of like what I'm doing now, and get a good feel for where everything is. But for the most part, I don't sort anything out. All right, next. So we have one of these axles with a pinhole perpendicular on it. Put a pin with a stud. And we already have one of our wheels and tires that we're going to put on. So we connect that wheel and tire like that. Goes over that axle. Put a bushing on there. Don't squeeze that bushing too tight. Allow a little bit of play in there for it to move around. Right. Next up is this L-shaped lift arm. So we have this commemorative piece. This is the anniversary year of 40 years of LEGO Technic. So every 2017 LEGO Technic set has this uh, three long lift arm that has the 40 year commemorative mark on there. We do need two three long lift arms for this step, but we are not going to use the commemorative one. We're going to use the undecorated ones. And that piece will go right there. All right, next is a couple more pins. Pin goes there, this one goes here. Have another friction pin there. Okay, so now we have this smaller L-shaped lift arm. It's gonna get a couple friction pins. This is a new piece, it's an axle with a pinhole in the middle and then another axle on the other side. And we have this panel. We're basically going to put there. Along with another one of these pieces. And this panel gets stickers. The stickers are numbered to help Find the one you're looking for. So 
These are going to have the seat belts right there. And then the back side of the chair with the seat belts. That will go there. And then we attach it to those pins sticking out. All right, looks good. Turn our page. So we got a couple thin lift arms with axle with a pin. This piece will go right there. Okay. Move that to the side. We have a little sub assembly to do basically consisting of this axle joiner piece Oops. goes there we have this um, reddish brown Axle with a stop. Two bevel gears. And then we're going to put a bushing. Slide that axle back out a little bit. So you can see it has a little bit of play there. Actually a lot of play. We'll slide in right here. Now we push that part in. Move that to the side, have another sub assembly. Let's see where are we at. I'm looking for black. Axle joiner, here it is. And then a black thin left arm. do show a one-to-one -one diagram. You can see right here, when we put our model up next to it, it should line up perfectly. Looks like we're doing good. So I'll slide these other pieces on. Even more thin left arms. Oops. Let's see another one of these axle joiners and pin here. black pin with a too long axle. All right, so now we're gonna use our commemorative 40 year lift arm. We're gonna put two pins with toe balls in it. Put this linkage arm like that. So I was supposed to put these on the other side. Usually don't have to worry about a up or a down side, but since this is um, you need to 
read the text. You have to put it on exactly the way they show it. All right, so that's good there. Next is this thin left arm. We'll go here with a half bushing right there. You can see we've kind of created a little lever. That whole piece goes there. All right, move that to the side. We have a little engine piece to make. Start with these two engine block parts. our camshaft piece with the pistons on it. It's basically two pistons. Go like this. and heads on and then this axle will go right here those both slide in there three long pieces all right that looks good so far so next is a black bevel gear right here Take a white, thin lift arm, put this axle with a stop through it. Tan bevel gear. long black axle there it is hiding right in front of me the whole time and we slide this in just like that turn it make sure everything works you can see it's pumping those pistons up and down just fine And bevel gear and this piece here. So this whole contraption. Slides right there. good so now we're going to start 
putting on the other side of everything to help close it all together. Okay, and it does show this black axle being pushed in there. Two of our thin lift arms. Axle with a pin. Another friction pin. That goes there. And they show these sticking out just a little bit. So when we put it on there, we can push it all together. That goes there. That will go in there. I don't remember putting another one on this. Oh, because I didn't put one on that side. Okay an actual friction pin in there. Let's go like that. All right. So that all looks good from my side. Let's again move that to the side. We have another sub assembly to make. Do a thin lift arm and then a half pushing. like we're about a little over halfway done with this model. You can kind of tell based on the parts and how they start to slowly disappear that we're getting closer and closer. in here, push that through, put half bushing on here, shows the chair being folded forward, and then attaching that, okay, so you kind of see our gear train and how everything's lining up perfectly. Okay, so we have a large panel. Well, it's really a medium-sized panel. They definitely make larger ones. And this has quite a few of these pins with a perpendicular pinhole on it. That is like that. We get sticker number one. This one pops on right there. Next is the other panel. This looks somewhat similar. There's a few differences. We don't have so many of the perpendicular pinhole pieces on this one. We do have sticker number two. some micro panels 
Let me find the right one. This is the one I'm looking for. Sticker number 10. So this will slide in like this. Just kind of shows it hanging off to the side like that. Um, we're going to do the other side now. This one looks like it's going to be very similar. Sticker number nine. Just like that. Okay, now it shows them folded up like that. Put this thin left arm all the way across, that'll hold it together. All right, we have a steering wheel piece. This will get another thin left arm. And sticker number eight. I said thin left arm, I meant a small panel. I actually don't know why I said thin left arm. Okay. So we'll fold our seat back up. The panel piece will go right here. Sticker number 12. Now we have two of these flex tubes. So they're kind of like a straw. You can see through them. And they kind of flex. You can see they bend. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one of them inside of each one of these pieces. And then it goes up in here. And then it connects to these friction pins. Just like that. So it kind of helps create the what looks like the cockpit hood area for the helicopter. Now I have this tri pin piece that we're going to put a piece there and they show a little diagram in the instructions on the right way to align it and the wrong way to align it. So we have the right way here. I'll go back there on the end. So we have this rear fin piece. Get quite a few stickers on this. 
So there's a um, kind of a molded bump in this wing piece. And they always design the sticker to go around that little bump. This is a piece that we've seen in other Lego sets, specifically some Lego Ninjago type sets. Have used this piece quite a bit. I think it's used in some Nexo Knight sets. It's a nice part. It adds a nice amount of detail with just a single piece. But yeah, if you're going to put stickers on it, you have to be careful. Okay. So that goes like that. So now we have our other toe ball piece. This will connect to the other end of the linkage bar. And then that will go there. So you can see it's our rear rudder, or real rear tail fin directional piece. Time for another couple panels. Number 16. There. Sticker 17. Another toe ball piece. And then another linkage bar. So this piece snaps on there, that piece snaps on there. So now we have a little lever here that controls the, the back piece. Um, and then we also have this little rear blade goes there. For another panel that goes all the way through there. A little pulley wheel with a tire on it. This will slide all the way through and hit that axle joiner as well as also attached to that pin that's sticking out. Piece will go there. I did forget to put the sticker on it. Sticker number 13. So that goes there. Now it looks like we're just going to repeat these steps for the other side. Pretty much the same thing, just a mirrored copy of it.
wheel tire slide this through just like that sticker time So now you can see how it's standing. Now that it has its wheels and tires on. Next up we have this top piece there. Now we're gonna build our rotors for the top. And guess what time it is? It is last sticker time. It's the same sticker times two. So you could say last stickers time. But we're gonna go with sticker. These are a little tricky to put on. That looks like that'll have to do. So, last step. This piece goes here. And there you go. That completes the ultralight helicopter. So, you can see down here they give you a double tan bevel gear. So you can see you can rub your finger under there. And give it a spin to get those rotors moving.